All right, guys, this is the fourth hard request of the 2017 summer list, and it is REO Speedwagon. Roll with the changes. Bum, bum, bum. So forth. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Here's the part one we're about to do in a minute. The part one lesson, all the lessons for this, including the organ solo. There's an organ solo at the end and it kind of works on piano too. I kind of show you how to adapt it for piano. If you want to try that or if you have an organ sound, a gospel organ sound on your keyboard, just take gospel organ. You can play the organ solo. It's really fun. It's not, not too hard to play. Um, but I did that as well at the end uh, in the lesson. So that is all on my website. I usually have it written here, but my Apple, Apple Pencil is out in the camper, which it's 100 degrees outside. I don't feel like running to go get it. <laughs> is webpianoteacher.com. Webpianoteacher.com. All the lessons are on there with thousands of lessons that I've done over the past, I don't know, 11 years now, whatever it's been. Uh, but anyway, let's get started with our part one lesson here. Da -da -da. Now, not only is it important to get the notes and the rhythm here, but the accents. That's what's going to make it either sound really cool or sound eh, okay. Because if you just if you just go. two ways different it was the accents that I put in there and I'm going to tell you which ones to accent uh, to make it sound right it's kind of like when you do syllables if you say you know Oklahoma say Oklahoma you don't say it like a robot you, you accent Oklahoma and every word has an accent syllable right and that's what makes talking sound interesting if someone's a great speaker they go up they go down and they have pauses and all this stuff and that's the same thing with your music, the accents that you use, what you stress and what you don't stress. So I'm going to show you that. Well, let's get the notes first because we can't do anything unless we can play the notes first, right? So da -da -da. I don't hear the piano do this, but the bass certainly does it. And I like to incorporate parts and pieces of the guitar and the electric bass and uh, even some drum parts uh, into our piano arrangement occasionally to make it sound like the real thing, to make it sound like the album version. So I do that now and again. G, A with three, two. Then we're going to hit an octave and a fifth, which is C octave with a two on the G. This stuff is too hard for you and you can't just jump in and do this. I have 50 very beginner lessons from the very basics, if you don't know anything about music or piano, on my website. Uh, you scroll down the main library list to the letter L alphabetically. Final 50 lessons starts from the very beginning. But if you can jump in and try this, let's keep going. Ba -ba -ba. When I hit that octave and fifth, I'm going to hit G below middle C in my right hand. Da -da -da. And I'm going to hold it. Ba -ba -ba. And then I'm going to go C, G with 2, 1. Then I'll hit G and E with 1 and 4. Now my left hand that's already on a C octave, I'm just going to play my thumb again. And the right hand's already on the G, C, and then left hand, C, and then G, C, and then G, and E, we already have it, right? C, G, C, G. The rhythm is bum, 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 do, 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 do. And I can hold the pedal through that. So really, you just hold this, but besides that, the notes just keep going straight. There's no notes that are held out or anything. You just keep it moving. Now what do we accent? Well, let me figure it out because I just kind of play it by ear and let me see. Let's accent the C and the E. You can write this on your uh, score if you want. The C and then the G and E and then the C. I'll do that again. Accent the G first though. C. So then we get, see that, you accent those, you hit, and when I say accent, I just mean hit those notes a little harder, make the others a little softer, okay, ba -ba -ba -ba. here we go, you can work on that. Next measure, first I want to 
mentioned I have F and A in parentheses. That's for later on because it's repeated. And on one of the repeats, I hear the person hit A and F instead of just the C. So that's what that means. But for now, we're just going to play the C and disregard the F, A and F. So we play the left hand C octave first, and then A, C, A and F. One, two, five on that. Da, da, da. Then left, and then right. A, C, left. A, C, A, F, left, C. And you can just read that, not too hard to see what's going on. Bum, 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 bum. Accent the A, the F, C, and then the F, and then the last C. Again, so A, F, C, F, C. So you accent those and make the other one softer. If you can't accent or you have trouble doing it, how do you practice that? How do you get to that? Well, start really slow and exaggerate. Overdo it. Play the soft notes really soft and play the accented notes really accented and then it'll help you to do it normal once you go back to playing it. So you go See I overdid it. <clears throat> Exaggerated that motion and then it will help you to just relax and then so I'm going to do it two more times if I don't mess up. The first time I'm going to play it super slow and then we'll play it up to speed, okay? One, two, slow. The thumb kind of helps me keep the rhythm, kind of is my conductor, helps me keep my place rhythmically. Now we'll go fast. One, two, go. So fun. All right. So all the lessons are on my website, web, webpianoteacher.com. Look me up on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com, and you, there's lots of lessons on there, and you can also see what's coming up for the website and uh, the next ones for the higher request list of summer 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed this part one, and I will talk to you later.